In January 2025, Russia's nuclear-powered cruiser Admiral Nakimov restarted its nuclear reactor, which means that the refurbishment of this nuclear-powered cruiser, which has been undergoing modifications for several years, is now coming to an end. According to Russian plans, the ship will begin trials in the summer of 2025 and will be delivered to the Russian Navy in 2026. Admiral Nakimov is the third ship of Russia's Kirov class of nuclear-powered cruisers, commissioned in 1988. On the eve of the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1990, the USSR decommissioned the giant ship for economic reasons. However, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia, lacking a large main ship, was ready to restart the ship and in 1999 the Admiral Nakimov was put into the dockyard for maintenance. However, due to financial, technical and shipyard problems, the renovation of the Admiral Nakimov began only in 2013. According to Russian plans, the ship was supposed to be completed and delivered to the Russian Navy in 2018. However, the Russian shipbuilding industry knows what it's doing, so the maintenance of the warship has continued until now, and it's been 12 years since the ship was rebuilt. In terms of size, the Admiral Nakimov is a very large warship. It has 2K and 3 nuclear reactors, a full load displacement of more than 25,000 tons and a missile launch system capable of firing about 400 missiles. It can be said that excluding the aircraft carrier and its carrier aircraft, Admiral Nakimov, such a nuclear-powered cruiser is the most powerful warship that mankind can build. Therefore, after the restart of the nuclear reactor of the Admiral Nakimov, there are many people who compare this type of warship with China's 055, then this warship and China's 055, in the end, who is stronger from the point of view of firepower this warship is quite powerful but on the admiral nakimov design this thing is pure and the look of it is not useful not to mention the comparison with the 055 or china's only 1300 tons displacement 056 a in a one-on-one -on -one situation may be able to suppress it because the warship this thing is not the bigger the tonnage the more firepower is the better warships need to be reasonably designed too large tonnage and firepower will only bring negative effects. The most obvious example of this is Japan in World War II. Before the Second World War, because of the Washington Naval Treaty restrictions, Japan in order to naval tonnage constraints, so that the Navy to achieve a stronger fighting force, directly take the small ships against huge guns, rode. At that time, the Japanese warships were frigates hate to resist the main guns of light cruisers. Light cruisers hate to resist the main guns of heavy cruisers. Heavy cruisers hate to resist the main guns of battleships. The end result is that the Japanese Navy warships serious firepower excess, which led to a series of problems. For example, Japanese warships were more brittle than American warships, like the United States aircraft carrier Yorktown in the Battle of the Coral Sea, and the deck were blown through. But the carrier after the repair again while fighting, actually dragged the broken body to fight the Battle of Midway. Another example is the Hornet carrier was first hit by three aerial bombs caused a fire, then by a Japanese Type 99 dive bomber, Kamikaze, triggered the martyrdom of the fuel tank, and then received, two torpedoes directly destroyed the power system but suffered such heavy damage, the Hornet still did not sink, and then the ship after a long period of water ingress hull tilt 15 degrees, the whole ship officers and men before abandoning the ship to make the Hornet sink. On the other hand, the Japanese carrier Kaga was directly martyred by four bombs, and the hull was completely broken and sank. On the Japanese side, the Kaga carrier was martyred by four rounds of bombs, and her hull was completely broken off and sunk. One of the reasons behind this is that Japan focused too much on the firepower of warships, leading to a decline in ship survivability. Everyone defaults to the U.S. Navy in World War II damage control ability is very strong, and the reason why the U.S. Navy damage control ability is strong is because the U.S. military does not engage in small ship against the big guns. This kind of warship is fine to unilaterally output firepower to the enemy, but once it receives an aerial bomb, it is easy to have more serious damage than normal warships. This is also the case with the Russian Admiral Nakimov. This thing 400 missiles looks very impressive, but in fact it is also the main, thin skin, big filling. A 250 kilograms missile can sink the Admiral before it even has time to do any damage to its tubes. The Russian Navy has actually demonstrated this. In the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, the flagship of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, the cruiser Moscow, 
was hit by two Ukrainian Neptune missiles, which directly led to the ship on fire, followed by serious water ingress, resulting in sinking. In addition to the problem of thin skin and big stuffing, 055 on a variety of modern equipment is not the Russian, Admiral Nakimov, can be touched. The most critical is the radar, 055, using dual band radar. This thing is the most advanced shipboard radar on the international level. Even the United States is currently the most advanced active destroyer, Burke, three type destroyer, and the radar also lags behind 055 a big block. But the Russian side, even if the Admiral Nakimov transformation is perfect, it is estimated that the level of radar cannot reach the level of 052B. Russian warship radar performance backward from the Moscow cruiser was sunk can be seen. The Neptune missiles used by Ukraine are subsonic missiles, with a minimum sea skimming altitude of 3 meters. Four missiles of this technical level, normally warships can detect and react even if they cannot intercept them. However, the Russian cruiser Moscow did not have any reaction before it was hit, as if it had not detected the two missiles at all. In other words, the Russian shipboard radar has reached a point where even subsonic missiles can't be detected. In addition to radar, such as shipboard computers, electronic countermeasure systems, communication systems, navigation systems, etc. Russia's Admiral Nakimov is also China's 055 Hang. In fact, even China's 056 a overall shipboard equipment performance level, but also basically higher than the first Russian cruiser, relying on more advanced shipboard equipment and more powerful anti-ship missiles. The 056 is a 1,300-ton gadget that can beat the cruiser of the last century. This cruiser's overall combat power, the Indian Navy may not even be able to look at the Indian Navy. Therefore, Russia's transformation, Admiral Nakimov, most likely just a window dressing behavior in the case of Russia has been unable to produce advanced warships. In order to maintain the frame of the great naval power, can only choose to transform the Admiral Nakimov, this old Cold War antique, to increase the fleet's face.